That's I just would be filthy all day, every day. Of, oh yeah, they would just be like, put them down there. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I come up cross-eyed and partially deaf. That's oh. all right down there. I'm down. You can breathe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would. That's the thing, though. I'm I'm more than positive if I were to go back in time and live in any other era than what I was born in, I would be dead before uh-huh. before my thirtieth birthday. Why would you die? Out of just re- one recklessness, two <laughs> stupidity, and three the whatever job I was given, I'm pretty sure would be also stupid <laughs> and reckless. <laughs> like you get lead poisoning from something. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, and I'd, be, and I'd also be the first because I know. I'm dumb enough. You're like, let me try this out, right? The the first time, like a snake oil salesman would come <laughs> to town, they'd be like, "You got uh, your, your feet hurt? Put these snakes on your balls." I'd be like, "This guy's talking." This guy straight. gets it, right? Snakes? Oh my! Bo- Wait. So they tell you if you drink this blood of this dead animal, you can you're gonna sleep well forever. Uh, I know. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely die. I definitely die because I'd also. Be very confident because I was a confident, stupid kid. Yeah, right. So I know, like, the moment they're like, Yeah, we got this new thing called TNT. I'm like, I can hold it. Let me put it in my hands. I got it. You'd be the guy with like stump <laughs> hands. I would have it in my ears <laughs> and in my mouth. Oh, yeah, check it out. It's pretty cool. Are you smoking around that? Yeah, it's fine. I don't think I would ever, yeah, I'd, I'd, there's no way I would live long enough to procreate. Or I'd have a wife. You know, I'd marry my 13-year-old cousin. You know? <laughs> I'd be fine. Right? I'd and be then marrying I, I my would thir- just be pumping out babies. I, yeah. I would just you, be making butter. You, I'd be thriving. That's what Harrison Butker was talking about the whole time. Did you hear that? No. Oh, man. Did you hear that? What? What is it? Sick-ass commencement speech. <laughs> Fucking sick. <laughs> Fucking wild, actually. So, do you know who Harrison Butker is? No. Should I? Yeah, I mean... No, well, I'm going to find out, so... Are you a fan of Taylor Swift? Yeah. Well, then you know who Taylor Swift's boyfriend is, right? Yeah. Who is it? Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Okay, so Travis Kelsey, I don't need to be like mansplain this, but he plays on a professional sports team. Yes, okay. Which other people are part of, not okay. just not Yes, just I him. understand. So there's a kicker named Harrison Butker who he did a commencement speech okay. at a graduation for, I don't know. Like remember, recently? What? Like three days ago. Okay. Uh, he did it at some college where he basically just went over the fact that a woman's like, he's just like, the biggest disservice women have ever done is to themselves believing they can be anything other than home. What the fuck? It was pretty wild. He was like, the best thing my my wife ever did was stay in her lane and be a, be a woman wife. of faith and a homemaker. That's like coming back. There's a whole like TikTok thing about it, how women are like going back into like homemaking and they're being proud oh. of being wa- like just yeah. mothers and wives. Because, you know, things got tough. Right. <laughs> you know. Oh, is this the theme? I forgot that the theme of the episode. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I think it, uh, but I I do think it is, you know. Do you, uh, do you want a snippet of the, the speech itself? I kind of do. I wanna, yeah, I want the juiciest one. If you got it. Juicy snippet. A ju- the juiciest, most <laughs> chauvinistic <laughs> snippet. Yeah, this guy rules. For the yeah, you might have to put the headphones today, on. Cause... Congratulations on an amazing accomplishment. You should be proud of all that you have achieved to this point in your young lives. I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career. Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school. He gets choked up. What? He gets choked up. Convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> There's nothing better. I couldn't have done anything in the NML. All those ladies there are now eighty thousand dollars in debt. I know. They just graduated, and this dude's like, "Yeah, but get back in the fucking kitchen." <laughs> <laughs> Fun times over. Sandwiches. <laughs> I also like that he was bragging about how he met his wife when he was like 12. We met in middle school. We met in, I met in band class. She had the flu. It's, it's kind of funny, uh, you know, watching. Here's the other thing that's crazy about that. No one, no one was like, hey, you got a speech? <laughs> Get up there and grip it and rip it, buddy. I can't believe no one no read it. No one read it? <laughs> like, what? Nobody read that? No one was like, uh, Harrison, hey, yeah, uh, maybe back it up a little bit and just <laughs> maybe say, like, you know, he's you're proud of everybody. Maybe just say, good job. Uh, don't throw your personal shit in there about your your wife just being good at making dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I bet she's really good at, at, at pot roast and stuff and stews. Pretty, pretty proficient around that goddamn oven. But uh, I don't know, man. That's. That's like how some of these male professionals are. Like uh, Bryce Harper, his wife, same thing. They're they're Mormon. And Bryce they... Harper's a Mormon. Yeah, you didn't know that. Our way to no way. Yeah. Are Mormons allowed to play baseball? I, I mean, I, I obviously. No way. Yeah. Mormon. Yeah. Is and he like... wearing the special underwear underneath? Underneath the uniform. A, yeah, he's like, and his wife's uh, a good homemaker and all that shit. Believes uh, in that shit too. That's but then I'm like, I like that dude. But then, yeah, know, of course. So then I'm like, oh, yeah, you like him? <laughs> he's, he's okay. I mean, he, he, I don't know. What if you found out? So in the, the 1980s going into the 90s, there was suspicion that, mm -hmm. that Mike Schmidt beat his wife. Oh, wow. Now, whether or not that came to light as a, as a fact, there were people who were kind of like, oh, man, what a terrible guy. But there were women like, wow. <laughs> You know, it's like no, I know. It's like when you like. It's like when Kevin Spacey came out and he was like touching. And I was like, oh, guys, all right, we we move, move. It's been a couple of years now, okay? It's okay. And now there's a the whole, kid was sixteen, so I was there's like, a whole. <laughs> that's fine. It's fine. You know, you know what? You're allowed to make your own decisions at sixteen. We we can make old. our own choices. You know, you can get away from a finger at yeah, sixteen. Yeah, so like. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's if old you, enough. If some creepy guy was coming at you, like, hey, take off your pants. <laughs> I'll suck you, dick. Would you, you can... stay in the room or would you leave? No, you could leave. You'd leave. Yeah, so there's, there's... You'd leave. It like, Sorry, Mr. Spacey. I don't know what you're doing. That's, yeah. That's, I'm out of here. Yeah, so let me enjoy his movies in peace, all right? What was your favorite Spacey movie? I'm trying to think right now because I just recently watched American Beauty, which is not my favorite Spacey movie. No. But it's a good, I liked it. It's a good one. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing this game where it's like, describe the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing that with everyone because every time I try talking about something, I'm like, I'm fucking retarded. What is wrong with me? Describe k -Pax. I'm not going to talk to you. What is k -Pax about? I don't that's, think a I've, that's a heavy spacey movie. I don't think I've ever seen k -Pax. You've never seen k -Pax? What's, I swear to God, I don't think so. Well, okay, so like... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So Kevin Spacey, he's like... A, okay, so... I'm going to kill you. Imagine I'm like an alien. Uh-huh. I'm into it already. And he's like, he doesn't understand Earth. <laughs> so he's like trying. But like, <laughs> it's like crazy because like he, he wants to like understand Earth so good, but he can't. And like he bites into a banana. <laughs> With the whole skin on, it's hilarious though. That's pretty much K-Pax. Okay, sounds good. I'll watch it. Would you watch, uh, have you ever seen um, The Usual Suspects? Episode? Yeah, I was going to say that's a good yeah, classic. Yeah, that's a good spacey movie. Now... It's crazy to watch those movies, though, and know, like, I don't know, it's it's wild when, like, the, all this shit comes to light and you're like, what the fuck? And then you go back and watch the movies and know that that guy that is crushing yeah. his career, but also going crushing. knuckle deep. <laughs> Little boy did. On, like, yeah. just up and coming stars. And I, it's yeah. like, you wonder how many... Like people, you see everybody in the movie with him is like, how many times did you just come into set like, ooh, I feel good. <laughs> like just like, <laughs> oh my god, huh. just see, like I never so went refreshed. That, see, I never went that route. I now it now you know what I mean. I didn't do just that before. On to set. No, I didn't. And he's I, like, oh I, I, man, <laughs> fuck, I feel good. I feel good. You guys ready? Did you watch that Nickelodeon thing? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Don't 
say it like that. <laughs> oh my god! I absolutely yeah. watched it. I watched it seven times, <laughs> and I'm like, I did binge it, which is kind of. It's like I watched it for five hours. That's straight. so much pedophilia. <laughs> Who binges I that? I binged pedophilia, and I was so into it. nuts with that. They're like, oh, I ate lunch in between. I need to binge watch true crime and terrible murder stuff and a bunch of children being diddled. I yeah, right. Get through it. Um, portrait, that's, yeah. That's just terrible. <laughs> I know. And you know, it sucks because you look, you look at like children who you'd think would have bigger careers, and you wonder if like literally their, <laughs> yeah. their career was stunted by getting molested. Yeah. But then you wonder, like, who didn't? You know, like, because Ke- Keenan Thompson has a very good career now. Yeah, because he wasn't but, molested. But why wasn't he? I don't know, because he's black. Uh, <laughs> maybe the, I, Dan Schneider maybe wasn't into that. That's not true. He molested black people. I don't know. <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> are, you trying, <laughs> are you trying to say he's, he's, he's a racist? I know, right? He's like, I don't Let's like. Let's look past. It. It's like, <laughs> sorry, kiddos. I don't like cream in my Kool Aid. Get, get out of here. I don't like it. I don't play that. I don't, it's like I'm not I can look past it. the molestation, but I'm like, but he's a racist. Yeah, what would you? What would you feel more comfortable about? <laughs> <laughs> who does? Who do racist pedophiles benefit? I'm crushing it. You know, just the <laughs> like. Do you feel better because only white kids are getting diddled, or are you mad that only white kids are seen as pure enough? I, for the... I don't know why. I'm sorry. I went the racist route. You did. All right? I shouldn't have. Keenan. I get, sorry. He's didn't... worthy of being molested as a child. Sorry, Keenan. You get, didn't get molested. Sure, he's. It was a little bit robust. <laughs> he was a robust kid. Rotund. Were, were you a molestable kid? I don't know. I think I was too bitey. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think child molesters would be into that. You're like pitball energy. They're like, oh no, no, stop, stop, (laughs) stop, stop. I'm pretty sure that's you know, I did have a fear of uh, I did have fear of being abducted when I was a kid. I was very suspicious of everybody. Oh yeah, was yeah. I watched a uh, I watched a Quantum Leap episode. What's that? You don't know what Quantum Leap is? Uh, Danny, do you know what that is? Oh yeah. Damn it. Okay. All right. No. Sorry. Listeners don't know. I bet some people don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Our listeners they know. No. They oh, know. You're like that uh, guy. <laughs> you're like that guy that left that three minute voicemail. He our knows. Our listeners are called leap freaks. They're fucking down. Okay. They know the quantum leap. Scott Bakula, he gets into a machine. He's a scientist. <laughs> okay. Okay. They know that when the machine is turned on, he disappears and he goes back in time to set right an event that went wrong. But the thing is, the machine is still running. And every time he sets something right, he leaps to another body. But he doesn't know if he'll ever make his leap home. He's just jumping around from time frame to time frame. In different bodies. In different bodies. Okay. Now, sounds- everybody who looks at him, they see the person. And if you look, in a mirror he sees a person sometimes he's a man sometimes he's a woman there's a classic scene where he's retarded and literally says (laughs) (laughs) he literally says i'm retarded (laughs) okay it's pretty wild and that whole episode with the the boy with down syndrome it's like every time scott Bakula, like because they just show scott Bakula dropping dishes and everyone's yelling i was like it's so hard i don't understand i'm just trying to do the right thing but scott Bakula is being scott Bakula. he's just like ironically fucking up and he's like you're retarded and he just has the and i actually i don't know how the, the retarded boy saves the day but he does oh that's good but in the abduction episode, okay, oh, okay. S- scott Bakula is a mom of a boy and a girl okay and the older boy gets abducted oh, no. by these like two creepy dudes in a van. It's like it's stereotypical, like you know, cookie cutter molesters. <laughs> okay. Van, two weird Can- dudes. Do they have candy? Do they have a promise? I don't know how they get them in the van, but okay. they do. Okay. And then at one point in time, I remember uh, it was wild because I remember being a kid. So the mom confronts the molesters. Okay. In a big fight. And that's Scott. That's Mom. Scott Bakula. Okay. So it's Scott Bakula in a dress, <laughs> fighting child molesters, okay. which is wild. But at one point in time, I remember the child molester like grabs Scott Bakula's dress and rips it down, and Scott Bakula's peck is out. <laughs> so that means her, her out titties out is in the real world. And I remember being a kid like, "Whoa, they're showing <laughs> boobs on the." I was like, "Boobs," but it's like man boobs, and I had no idea. 
But anyway, she does like she karate kicks a guy in the face. Okay. Saves her kids. Hell yeah. But I remember being like, oh no. You're gonna get there might be abductors somewhere in this in this town. I was very suspicious of uh, everything, uh, especially because we lived not that far from Greatersford Prison. Okay. And uh, one day, I think it was in the 90s, there was a prison escape. Oh, no. And the prisoner was spotted like three or four blocks in our town. And like, oh, everybody, yeah, it was fucking wild. And then on top of that, we also lived like we had we lived in the same town Penhurst was. So they released all these insane people oh, okay. and they were just in the town. Pretty much harmless. But like you were always worried that somebody was going to like diddle you. <laughs> you had yeah, you, you had worries. Yeah, diddled or uh was kidnapped. Yeah. Diddled or kidnapped. I mean, really, what would you rather be? Kidnapped. Now, see, here's the thing. Wait, but if you get kidnapped, they're gonna diddle you you anyway. It's catch twenty two. There we go. Because <laughs> you're gonna catch twenty two of them fingers at one point in time. Yeah, I guess diddle then. I don't know. <laughs> As <laughs> This is getting spicy. As a woman who's Diddle been raped. Me this. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> this is the end podcast with Ryan Shaner. Thank you for joining us. I am here with the one and only Aisha May. Thank you for being on the show. We hadn't started yet? We did. We oh. had started, I don't know when we started. Did okay. we start when we watched that whole commencement thing? I just realized we just Hell didn't yeah. do the intro. That's we just what. did. Oh. We just did. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Can uh, people, where can people find you? Just on Instagram or Facebook, Ayesha May. It'll be spelled because it's very difficult to spell. Yeah, your name is, you know what? If I was kidnapping you as a child <laughs> <clears throat> and you were like, I'd be like, what's your name? And you're like, Ayesha. I'd be like, how do you spell it? And I'd be like, no. Get, like, her, get I, out of the, get out of the car. I just get out of here. Yeah. That's so many letters to cut up from a newspaper to put into a, a letter. Plus, no guy would want to molest me as a child. I mean, I'm half Middle Eastern, so I was like hairy and shit. They'd be like, you were a hairy. Wait a, a minute. I was a hairy kid. How hairy's hairy? I remember kid. in the fourth grade, Pete, Pete Zwiak sat next to me and he said, ew, your arm hair is longer than mine. And I remember I cried. Well, that is a devastating. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh. That is yeah, a pretty, devastating that's... blow in fourth grade. <laughs> yeah, I also remember I used to get made fun of because I used to wear my brothers and sisters clothes, like hand me downs. Sure. So, yeah, people that, well, that happens. Like, like, you look like a boy and you have arm hair. It's really, yeah. Now, did you have, did you grow out your hair that long? Were you... No, well, I, don't, I had normal arm. I don't know. No, I'm not talking about your arm hair. I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, my regular. Did you grow it out. <laughs> like, what? My regular hair. Did, did you braid it? <laughs> I think, what? I don't know. Uh, yeah, my mom did French braid my hair a lot. Yeah, no, I think I had normal hair, but yeah. So yeah, you looked like a girl. You yeah. just were wearing boy clothes. Well, I also, my mom didn't let me wear makeup or shave my legs or pluck my eyebrows until I was a senior in high school, so. All right, that's a little <laughs> Yeah. So you were just walking it pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's why I was a loser with no friends, probably. Now, when did you start going through puberty then? If you had hairy arms in fourth grade and you weren't allowed to... No, I remember when I was 16, I got my period, though. But okay. yeah. All right. So, yeah. That's normal. Yeah, I think so. But being that hairy, that is... Yeah, it was, that is I a, guess... Yeah, so... No, but it's a Middle Eastern thing. It's, no, it's a Is that thing. a Middle Eastern thing? I think some, a lot of Middle Easterns are very... Yeah, hairy. I'm not saying that they're not, but I'm just saying, it like, is, it's yes. not just a Middle Eastern thing. No, it's thing. not just a Middle Eastern thing, but I'm saying I, I think I can attribute it. I'm just saying, I remember going, when I was a kid, to Dorney Park... And uh, that's, they didn't allow Middle Easterns in there. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> there were not, look, I'm not saying they didn't allow them. I'm just saying I didn't see okay. any. I remember being a kid and like, yo, where are all There's no brown the people. Emmys? There's yeah. none of them. <laughs> uh, but I remember being in line uh -huh. in front of girls because there was Dorney Park and Wild Water Kingdom, okay. which is the, the water park attached to it. And I remember being in line to like get on like the log flume or some other bull uh -huh. crap. And you'd be standing in behind a chick and you could see like this weird hair yeah. coming from like the small of their back yes. all the way up their spine. Yeah. And I remember being like, not because I'm like a kid, not grossed out, but more like interested. Yo, I wonder if they're like part wolf or something. <laughs> like, I remember being like, if they mutated, I was like, this is honestly pretty sick. Like that's not like I wasn't like grossed out because no, I was a yeah. child. I was more like, whoa, this is an anamorphic situation. You have bangs or yeah, something? Right. <clears throat> what happens when you get like what if you get scared? Do you fluff up? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was never. I was never thrown. Body hair was never thing that ever threw me anyway. Oh yeah. It right. just like it was more like 
too much can be too much. Um, yeah. So, anyways, end of the story. I, I oh, would yeah. not molestable because I was because <laughs> uh, hair- hairy- you think a, 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 a child molester gonna be like too much, <laughs> too much fuzz on the peak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I no, want to. I want to no, baby smooth. You. Get this away from what me. What is this? Yeah, no. I, Can we peel this? I was like a nine-year-old with like a fifty-year-old pussy, right? <laughs> Just like bush. Fifty-year-old pussy. I know. Right? I. <laughs> You know, as a guy who's done a lot of searching on the internet, I've I've seen a few fifty year old pussies. I was gonna say, have you fucked a fifty year old pussy? What's the oldest pussy you fucked? Uh, she was. How old was Deb? Deb was forty eight. It's not. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. nice. She was forty eight. Cool. But that was like, can I say that it was great? I can't. It was. <laughs> it was fifty year old puss. I well, look, Deb was very very enthusiastic. Yeah, we Deb, love that. Deb was. Gunning for it. Uh huh. That's keep that in mind. Gunning for it. Gunning for it. <laughs> Deb came in on a mission. She came in hot. She came in very. Keep in mind, I was also like, "Yo, I'm gonna bang somebody in this bar." How and old were you? Twenty eight. Okay. So Deb comes in. Yeah. Coming in hot. <laughs> Big old fat tits blazing. Fat titties are great. <clears throat> well, not, yeah. Who doesn't like fat titties? You hey, can store things in them. What, they I used have to have compartments. Oh my god! I used to sneak in fucking food. Oh, you're candy, talking about in the bra. T- yeah, not like you're thinking of, like think, slice like open. Had, the I was like thinking of, like a chest of drawers. No pun intended. Just, just fucking. You can open up my nip. Just that would be in. that'd be sick. That would be pretty. See, that's what it. You know what? I don't understand why women don't do that with breast implants. <laughs> Oh my God, Make right? them little, kind of hollow. Yeah, right. So kind of you like a can wallet. like, like your nipples, like a little door. <laughs> a little comp- Oh, I love that. That would be pretty sick. And very useful. You can put change in there. Just pack a cigarette. Pack, <laughs> I'd pa- pack a cigarette. You know, pew. save it for later. I would push one nipple in and have a cigarette come out of the other. <laughs> like one. the cool compartment. Just here, like right? a cool, like ooh. And then ooh. you, you can like light it with the other. Or nipple. I'd actually push it a lot and just shoot them out. <laughs> pew pew. I don't know why. You know what? This is why I'm not. A, besides not, not having. A woman. <laughs> Not a woman? Yeah, I'm not a woman. Not a woman. Not a woman, dude. I'm, th- I'm Team Harrison Butker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, am I Team Harrison Butker? No. <clears throat> but I do but I do uh, respect the fact that he just said whatever he wanted. Yeah. I do respect the fact that he was just like not, he didn't give two shits about it. It's wild at a commencement I know. <laughs> that he said that. <laughs> it's like but the that, wild therefore. Yeah, that was my whole thing. I'm like... Th- Time and place, but no, the, 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 but that's <laughs> yeah. the whole thing. He didn't have another time or another place. <laughs> He's the kicker on a team. He that's the only time exactly. he showed. He was like, "What is he gonna do?" <laughs> this is all he, he has. has. No time to do that. <laughs> It's not like he's going to be asked to be in like a local car dealership commercial. It's like $95 off and also a woman should stay not behind the wheel. Don't let the women drive this. This no. is for the men only. Men only. Oh, there's actually been, ca- I just ate that stupid Australian candy fucking fizz whiz. Oh, yeah. Also, Australia, if you're listening, what the fuck? What's fizz whiz? It's crap. <laughs> crap. It's like pixie stick. Imagine. Okay. You know what fun dip is, right? Yes. Imagine a package like Fun Dip. Okay. And then instead of like a, an edible, like, you know, dip Thing stick, you stick, yeah, yeah. It's like a small little Coke shovel. <laughs> and I love, I oh, was, like a Coke spoon, a little spoon? Yes. Okay, and I spoon. thought, I was like, oh, this is like Pixie Sticks. So bland. And then I was like, maybe because it's called Whiz Fizz. I figured you mix it with water and it makes your water all fizzy. Like, oh, uh, like, yeah. Some kind of crap like that. No. And, now and then I found out. Nope, still doesn't taste like fucking sherbet. Uh, then I found out that you're supp- whiz fizz is basically an ingredient. Oh. You're supposed to mix it with milkshakes huh. or some other breakfast food liquid <laughs> concoction. So you're just like snorting random powder. Uh, it's but it doesn't even taste good. It's very upsetting. It's really crazy that like you think I was telling Danny, you think an island. That was built for prisoners and has everything on it that can kill you. Yeah. You'd think their candy game would be like, yo, (laughs) we know that it's fucked up here. The air can kill you. We have bugs you've never seen. 
Sharks are at an all-time high. The, the Everything is fucked up. Here's some good candy. Here's some top tier. And no, then there's the no, shit candy. They have shitty candy. They're part of are they they're part of the EU. So they probably have like sugar bands and stuff. They're part of the EU in Australia? European Union or something. They're in a different continent. Look, man. <laughs> They're a con- yeah. I, was, use- I also was they, like, they're yeah, another continent. They are another continent, but Australia. Let's be real here. Australia is England. All right. Uh, the accents are different. That was me. That's yeah. Just- <laughs> <laughs> now it ain't. I only can do good eye, mate. Look what I'm telling you. Oh. <laughs> is whiz and fizz is very good if you put it on ice cream. Maybe put it in your bum. <laughs> That'll, <laughs> you never get molested that way. Put whiz and fizz on your, on your sliz. Whiz, fizz, sliz. No. I can't. Australia sucks. And that's the regular, that's the general consensus I've gotten from anybody who's been there, too. Really? I want to go hiking there. No, wanna, you don't. You'll wanna die. Do the, I want to do the New Zealand Lord of the Rings thing. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Did you say you wanted to do, you wanted to go to Australia, you wanted to go hiking, and you wanted to do the New Zealand? New Zealand's literally right next to Australia. It's not the same They're thing. They're literally next to Australia, by the way. Yeah, sure. Same continent. Thank you very much. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. New Zealand, I, we'll get, wait a minute. Are you? Let's get T-Mac on the phone right here, right now. If I knew T-Mac's number, he would fucking lose it on you, Danny. He would never even begin Look, to I'm be saying separate country. So you're saying Tasmania is part of Australia? Yeah. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> the I continent. I don't recognize it. I hate to break this to you. You did. Think Mexico Austra- is part of North America. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. Not my, not my oh, America, I'm sorry. dude. Not my North America. So is Cuba. Nope. <laughs> the America gets cut off. Look, I don't even, I got to be honest with you, I don't even recognize Hawaii. You can go to <laughs> I don't recognize Hawaii Alaska. or Alaska. Get the fuck out of here. Like, don't get me wrong. I think, honestly, if, we, if we're if we going to go look at it from a geological standpoint, uh-huh. geological standpoint, yeah. the way the tectonic plate mu- movement happens, yeah. and the way that Hawaii moves towards Japan <laughs> yeah. every six years. Does it? It does. That's kind of crazy. This is a geological fact. Okay. Japan, during World War II, was fighting for uh, occupying Hawaii. Uh Uh-huh. And we took it. Yeah. That belonged to Japan. I'm just saying. Oh. That's, like, we should have just let Japan have have that. Who cares? Why do we want Hawaii? Is it just because it's gorgeous? Uh, I think it has a lot to do, yeah. (laughs) Because it's gorgeous. Because we love gorgeous things. No, I think... uh, I think it's just, again, it was more like, you know, we needed it for planes to take off of to bombard the Japanese. Yeah, no, that makes sense. No, no. Um, I'm not really s- smart with some things, so I'm like, I don't want to sound too retarded here. So I'm just like... Gotta I'm be like, honest with you, that was the most retarded thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm not really smart with some things, so I don't want to sound retarded. I was just Then like, again, you are talking to me, and I <laughs> vehemently stand on the fact that Australia <laughs> is part of Europe. No, it isn't. Oh, my God. That's no, it's fu- not. If anything, it's part of Asia. It's that much farther over. But what I am saying is, look, we all know. We all know that when it comes down to, like, you know, Aussies, they don't want to be, a set, uh, like, associated with, with the English yeah. and the UK. But, uh-huh. look, UK is an island. Yeah. Australia's an island. Yeah. Any coincidence? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Any coincidences, Danny? <laughs> Japan's an island, too. Is Japan an island? Yeah. This is too... Re- I can't. We need to leave geography. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Shader, please tell me you know Japan was Look. an island. <laughs> okay, thank God. I was like, I'm Here's what I'm going to tell you. Japan... <laughs> <laughs> no, Japan is an island. Yeah, Japan. You're right. Japan is an island. And uh, for a second, I did doubt myself. Very yeah, quickly. I know. I was, <laughs> I was like, God damn it! I was like, Japan's like, not an island, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, woman. And then I'm look, like, Fuck! All right, let me go make a sandwich. Look, idiot. <laughs> oh God, is there a kitchen? There's a here? sink right out there. <laughs> go do the dishes. All right, please. I know. I was like. No, Japan's an island, uh, but I also think that Japan, you know, I think they should build multiple bl- bridges and take over China. I think that's what we need to do. 
Bridges from Brother Japan. Brother Japan was trying that for centuries. I know. They, 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 but they did pretty good for a little bit. World War II, the rape of Nanking. They did, and they don't even talk about it. That's how bad it was. Oh, I was going to say, never heard of it. Yeah. Look it up, but don't. Oh. Look it up, but don't. Okay. It's kind of like, it's kind of like uh, you know, uh, 120 days of uh, Sodom. You you don't want to look that up. I don't think I've ever. I don't, it's no. it's a terrible movie. It's oh. actually a pretty good movie. Look it up. But don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna keep telling it's, me movies that kinda, you're like, see these, but don't. But it's it's kind of like one of those things. Like you either see it or you don't. But you don't go looking for it. You just kind of stumble upon it. You know I, what I mean? No idea. How'd you stumble upon of 100? 120 days of Sodom? Uh, it was. <laughs> I'm glad you weren't googling that. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, you. You're like how many days? <laughs> it's 120. <laughs> It was actually right under 500 days of summer. It was. <laughs> I actually oh, watched. Like I watched show. the wrong movie. I was watching the whole time. I was like, what is Joseph Gordon Levitt going to show up? Are they eating poop? That's wild. Oh, see now I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, you there's a whole part in the movie called Shit Dinner. Let me tell you. Mind blown. Mind blown. All right. It's okay. based on the Marquis de Sade. It's very weird and crazy and fucked up okay and uh it is uh, a movie i think it was banned when it was made it was made in like 1972 uh it was banned in like four or five countries and even an island called japan i don't know if you know, <laughs> i don't know if you know that uh-huh i don't know if you know that is it banned in japan the ban japan banned it's japan Jap <laughs> it's japan <laughs> why isn't japan doing that japan <laughs> japan i th there's a couple things i thought of the other day that i i it's the most, it's literally says million dollar ideas, ideas for gays. Oh, for just for the gays? <laughs> just for the gays. Okay. One. It is, oh, oh, no, this isn't coming out. I was going to say Pride Month's coming up. It is. Pride. And I know there's a lot, Jesus. Oh, actually, you know who else spoke out against Pride? <laughs> Harrison Burdick. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a part you're like this guy rules for he many did. reasons. He did. He's like, yeah, like, we're I not talking it. about the pride, the sinful pride month coming up. He really did. Uh, okay. So million dollar ideas for gays uh -huh. that I don't understand how this didn't. And this is a little bit. This is a little bit spicy. Put these back on. But uh, a radical gay magazine or a periodical called a fagazine. I don't know why that hasn't happened. That doesn't exist because that is pretty. That's pretty good. Fagazine. Also. For the LGBTQIA plus community, whenever someone is becoming trans or changing their gender, uh -huh. they have a gender repeal party. Why doesn't that happen? That's like a billion dollar institution. You can make all new balloons. You can make the balloons that look like dicks and you can pop them and then it's like pink coming out. <laughs> What are they becoming? We don't, and then you pop. Yeah, it. and you pop. You I don't know like what's that. going on. That's actually a good idea. I don't right? know why that doesn't happen. We should be, Danny. Why aren't we on top of this? You know what it is? Is because <laughs> countries like European Australia, they, you know what? They're probably cornering the whole fucking market. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> that island, Japan, must be really milking it. You know, well, they don't want females, so or no, they don't want male babies, so those. Like, they wouldn't have those parties because they wouldn't want to. Oh, I'm thinking of baby parties. <laughs> I'm not thinking of. They probably don't have transgenders in Japan anyways. Those those are also probably murdered. I need to shut up. <laughs> it's the glasses. It's the glasses. Yeah, take them off. Uh, you're confusing Japan and China. <laughs> yeah, you're confusing. Oh, China what? limits the amount of children born. Oh, okay. And, they and now they have them. a now they have a huge problem. Yeah. They uh, have it's a like 75% men now. It's 70. It's the the... The ratio to men to women is so outstandingly different. Even with their ban on the babies? Yeah. So what happened was they started like, you know, now it's like there's so many males. There's like, I don't know how many males to one woman. But the problem also is, is that women in, in China, <laughs> uh -huh. they don't want Chinese men. I literally was just thinking that. I'm like, because so, they're fucking probably. <laughs> so they're like. Boy, bye. Marrying like Americans and Europeans, and even like now these Chinese are like, we have nobody. <laughs> we have no one here. It's so much harder yeah. to find a woman in, I think they're, I think it's called like Love in China or Single to Be Single in China. There's a documentary about it. Oh, wow. It's very, very depressing. <laughs> and you really feel bad because like <clears throat> some of these guys yeah. are creepy by just. You know, you wouldn't survive ten minutes in the asylum they were they were brought up in. They're just creepy by nature. I don't know why I was like thinking you were thinking I wasn't. I thought you were gonna say I wouldn't survive China, like because they would just like start abducting you and wouldn't raping be. me. You wouldn't I'd be, survive like, walking China. the street and they're like rape, rape, rape. I don't think they'd be. 
<laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't think China would be on the rape spree. Like you know, I'm giving these Chinese guys <laughs> rape spree. I don't think that's gonna... more of an India thing. Yeah, I was gonna say, but then again. Okay, wait. Well, okay. I'm just saying, I don't think China is as rapey as you think. <laughs> okay, cool. You know, and well, let's just put this out. Of, I didn't say that. <laughs> I got it from the way you were talking about how the men were creepy. Men, men can be creepy. Men can. I don't know if you. Men are creepy. I don't know if you've seen I do. recently. I've witnessed. You know, it. I don't oh, know if yeah. you've seen recently. Women are taking the bear over men. <laughs> Which I don't... We're getting punched in New York and shit. And yeah, but that's everybody. Everyone's getting stabbed and punched in New York. That's just crime. They punched Steve Buscemi. That was sad. I know. I really you know what's even sadder? I, I You know what? I don't care about Buscemi. As much as I do, I don't. Because okay. Buscemi's Buscemi. He'll, like, what's the worst you could do to his face already? <laughs> like, nothing. You know yeah, what I mean? Probably actually not something into sure place. It, what, if it, what if Steve Buscemi got punched became attractive. and became beautiful? I was like, just like, oh my God, thank you. Why didn't they do this before? That would be amazing. But the the only time I ever heard of a celebrity getting beaten, and I was like, I don't really care. But when Rick Moranis came out of retirement oh. and was walking down the street and was randomly assaulted, I'm like, Rick Moranis? I know. Out of all the people in the world. National Treasure. I just think of, no, I can't, I'm now I'm afraid to name a movie. Honey, I Shrunk the Tits. Did you, you, you almost said tits. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard That's that. That's what I heard. That's Honey, what I, I shrunk heard. The tits. Honey, I Shrunk the Tits. And to me, that's way more of a disaster. <laughs> that is. And he also says, he goes, like, I think they shrunk the Thompson kids' tits, too. I think I shrunk their tits. I shrunk all the kids' tits. Jesus Christ. Um, honey, I shrunk the kids. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Um, Banger. <laughs> Banger. Banger movie. I was just thinking about when my tits shrunk, because I used to be super fat. Sure. And I used to have really big double D. But when we talk about fat titties, I used to have fat titties. But then when I got my tiniest, I had, like... They were so loose because I lost so much weight. I had loose skin. And they were okay. Trun shrunken. That's what you I had thought. shrunken, loose skin titties. I had shrunken, hideous, loose skin titties. But I gained some weight back, and now they're they're supple. Think about it, guys. <laughs> she was unmolestable in the fourth grade. <laughs> Wasn't able to shave or pluck oh, her eye of her house until high guys. school. Knock them out. And then now, then she had loose skin, weird tits. Oh, right. And now, them. boom, man, they're fucking they're killing, killing, killing it, them it. boobs. We got messages. Oh, we got messages. We sure as H do. We're going to get a little bit crazy here because it's time to get started with our new sweat free life. Sheath underwear keeps everything dry below the belt. With underwear pouches, one pouch for your dick, another for your balls, so you won't be peeling them off your thighs all summer. It's a goddamn miracle. Honestly, Sheath is the only underwear I've ever worn in my entire life. As a guy who doesn't wear underwear, ever, Sheath underwear is the only one that I've ever put on and actually felt like, one, my dick wasn't pressed up against my thigh, and two, the reason it looks so good is because it's got two pouches. The one for your dick, it's like a goddamn condom. You put it through there, and the balls get held completely where they need to be. And there's one thing I've learned about taking your pants off in front of a chick while wearing sheath. She will be completely impressed. It honestly looks like a fucking baby has been born in between your legs. It's the best underwear I've It'll ever make worn. Her squirt. Squirt alert! Honestly, I wear them all the time. And I know you're going to love them too as that weather keeps heating up. You'll need never need another pair of underwear ever again. Go to sheathunderwear.com and use code SQUIRTALERT to get 20% off your first order. Plus, Sheath Underwear is 100% money back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code SQUIRTALERT. Get Sheath Underwear, support the show, show your balls. And also, back to the show. Honey, I shrunk the tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a funny thing to say. Honey, <laughs> just imagine someone's like, honey, I, honey, I shrunk the tits. I'd be like, whose tits? You're going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> honey, all right, just remember we love each other. 
<laughs> we can get through anything together. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love you. I love you. I love you. But I may have, look, I may have been, the neighbor's always outside. <laughs> you know, she's always out there. And I may have pointed the ray at her thinking it would make her tits bigger. <laughs> Oh, because you want to look out the window at her rat. I, I was trying to make her tits bigger. Not your own wife's tits. No, the neighbor's tits. Okay. I'm tired of my wife. Getting, I don't want my wife with too much power. You know, oh, I'm trying okay. to I'm trying to ruin the neighbor's marriage. Because you want to fuck the wife or you, you no, hate the neighbor? I hate the The whole thing was I was trying to make the tits subtly bigger. Slow. Oh, over time. Over time that she starts losing her mind. She's like, my tits are getting bigger to the husband. And he's, and like, he's like, no, no they look not. great. They're, they're the great. same thing. Yeah. And then they have to go to the doctor. Like my husband, my wife's tits are getting bigger and they just don't know. And then yeah. they think she has cancer. And then they have to do a double mastectomy. Oh. Honey, I shrunk the tits. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a wild movie. The pr- <laughs> it's like a drama it's like you go in and you're thinking. But he shrinks them so much that they go concave. God. And she thinks she's dying. And she, she starts sh- getting treatment. She, no, she, she takes her own her life. Hair. Oh, suicide. She takes her own life. From the top of the house. And this is, oh, she jumps off the roof. <laughs> and you watch. And that's the end of the movie. But that's as his friends are showing up. And, yeah. and he's like, eh. And then she jumps off and falls on the camper. The yeah. camp, they're a camping and, family. Yeah, they're a camping family. Yeah. That's a bad, bad scene. Honey, I shrunk the tits. Rated R. All right, let's get to those voicemails. <laughs> <laughs> that was retarded. R for retarded. Hey, Shaner. Uh, been a long time listener. Love the podcast. Uh, just watched the Wood episode. Hilarious. Uh, it's got kind of a problem I was hoping you could help me with. Uh, I'm in a relationship with a girl, and it, now it's become really long distance. She is in the military and just got uh, moved to Japan, <laughs> and it's great and love her and everything. Uh, but the only issue is that, you know, I, I'd really love for her to send me like a hot pick that I could use for my uh, own release. And she doesn't want to ever do that. Did you say it so like that? I was wondering, you know, if you have any advice on how to convince her that you should should do that. Just let it up for me a little bit. Okay, thanks, bud. Love you. Bye. <laughs> the I can't get over the fact that that was that Man. she's in Japan. <clears throat> Irony. The island of Japan. The island of Japan. <laughs> Um, well, one, that sucks. Uh, long distance relationships are always, uh, they're always difficult. And I couldn't imagine, again, being in a long distance relationship with someone in the military. And then to add something to that, that they're now in not just a different state, but a different country and not just a different country, a whole island across (laughs) the goddamn world. We're finding out. (laughs) For the first time. (laughs) You heard it here first, folks. Japan Island. <laughs> you know what? Why don't they call it Japan Island? So people don't. So people don't confuse it. Yeah. Japan Island. Well, then they'd have to do like Australia Island, Hawaii Island, Cuba Island. First of all, people do say the island of Hawaii. Okay. You're like, excuse me. First of all, people do say that. Okay. And I'm going to start saying the Isle of Japan. <laughs> The Isle of Japan. Um, um, so, yeah. T- tough military chick, though. I like that this, this dude's got a military chick. She's got to be, like, hard. Yeah, but it seems like it's be creating too much. Too, it's not just hard. It's difficult. I'm surprised she doesn't want to send nudes. Yeah, that... Look, I'm not going to say that's a, a... That's a little bit of a flag. Is it a red flag? I think... I don't know. So here's the thing with with uh, the sending of nudes. I've dated women who, like... Won't do it. Who haven't done it? Okay. And and you've asked? I mean, I've hinted. You can't just demand. You can't go fucking harassing all these chicks. <laughs> Be like, I want fucking dinner at six <laughs> and a pussy pick at eight. Yeah. You can't just start saying it. I feel like if your chick is on an island, you know, thousands of miles away, you're allowed to. Yeah. I'm. See, you're saying that. Yeah. I, but yeah. I, I can't be like, look, you're on an island, <laughs> and I need a release. <laughs> That's I liked also, how he phrased that. I liked it. I thought it was funny. Is that is that hot? If well, some guy was like, do? look, babe, I need a release. 
It's the like babe. he needs a form from his mom to sign like a release paperwork. <laughs> and you he's just sign this up. release. He's like, look, I can jerk off. My mom said it's cool. Let me I would watch porn, but I need a release to you. I need you. you. (laughs) I need it. I think it's romantic. He wants to come to me. Sure. No, that's, I I see that. Yeah. I can see that. But it is kind of like, you know, a bummer because you don't know what this woman, I don't know what anybody does in the military. As a chick? No, no, no. Oh. During like times of like not non conflict. Oh, okay. Like when they're being stationed. Oh, she's over, just like hanging out. I don't know what they're doing. Like being stationed over there. I don't know what it is. I just assumed she was getting railed by other dudes. That's what I was thinking. But she's probably she's loyal. Why would you say that? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. You know, this guy's already worried. You're like, yeah. I would just assume she's just like backing that ass up on japanese wiener all right I if I, okay so a resolution she's not gonna send you nudes oh my god they have the ai thing take a picture of her put it on to some you know what i mean they they do that look i'm not saying they don't what i'm saying is use your imagination the moral <laughs> that's like say take you could take anybody's picture and be like you know what i really want a nude from her <laughs> thank you ai <laughs> It's kind of now up, I can but that's beat off. <laughs> Thank God, I really wanted. I took a. I saw the picture online of my neighbor. I follow her on Facebook. The one that you want the, the one, Yeah. So you know what? I just took her head and I put it in AI and I made her look all slutty. <laughs> and then you mastered. And then and I mastered. Really, no, I got the release. release. <laughs> Jeez, you know what? Saving lives. Yeah. No, I think that's pretty fucking wild. That's that's like deep fakes. Yeah, no, I know. You know, don't do that. Don't, yeah, don't don't yeah. Don't do don't do that. Yeah, after you suggested, don't do anything I said. Well, uh, that's like the thing you said with the movie. Yeah, they'll stumble upon it. No, he w- could have stumbled. You just put it out there. <laughs> that's like those things. Okay, I'm just shut up. What's your resolution to the? My resolution question? is to, you know, if you've already suggested it, and. You've already thrown it out there, and she's still not, you know, making with with the sliz. You gotta be like, look, I'm finding it very hard and difficult to be in this relationship, and just be honest with her. The fact that you you want to, you know, then again, I don't know how uh, physical your relationship was before uh, she got deployed or left or anything like that. If, you know, it comes down to like a lot of people's nature. Uh, there have been chicks I've I've messed around with who have been pretty conservative in the bedroom and, and other things like that. So it's like if they were to be away from you, they're not going to send you any sexy. Like it's almost yeah. like try you're, you're poking a bear that doesn't want to be poked. Yeah. And that's not going to happen. So my suggestion to you is <clears throat> instead of being a creep <laughs> and taking a picture. I was responding just as the slut that I am. You're yeah, like, no. he might have a conservative girlfriend. And I'm like, you're right, actually. What I'm saying is instead of taking your picture and taking it in the AI and being a weirdo like that, what you do is you go on, you know, Pornhub or XXX Bunker or Uges or, or Blowhard or Motherless or whatever. And you find a, a chick that looks like her. There's a lot of porn sites. You were just like, I was like, oh, you know, yeah. You, you, be, you get around. But I'm just saying, like, you can always find chicks that look like a chick you want to bang and just kind of get as far as you can with that. Cause, or, you know, maybe the time is to move on, you know? <laughs> you're like, This dude's just like, oh, I can't jerk off or whatever, and you're like, get over, move no, on. No, what I'm saying is if she's in Japan, yeah, she's and- in the Isle of Japan <laughs> right now. <laughs> You know? Yeah. So it's like. No, I think the porn, the person that looks similar in porn. Good that's idea. the best. It's the only yeah. option you have. But it's also like, how long can you do a long. Also, like, distance? how do you like search for your like specific girlfriend? You're, do you just type in like lanky. You just look. Toothless. Oh, you just peruse. Lanky toothless. I don't know why I just assumed. <laughs> what is going on tooth. with you? Well, because she was missing a tooth because she's in the military. So she gets. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. All right. Next voicemail. Yeah. Can we go to the. <laughs> Do what I said, not what she... <laughs> wow. Remember that time in that documentary called Doom where they dropped uh, Chris Wood into that isolation tank and gave him that extra chromosome? Man, that shit was wild. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look... I can't speak to the way Chris Wood looks. 
Chris is a, is a fine gentleman. Yeah. You know? Now, what, if, if you saw Chris Wood in a porn... <laughs> present day or what i'm saying is like say say you're you're going to town on yourself yeah and then all of a sudden they pan up to the dude <laughs> and, it's, just and chris it's chris wood i probably would still come yeah of course you would i think that would be crazy to to see <laughs> like you know just like you're watching porn and then all of a sudden like the cameraman like <laughs> drops, drops the camera <laughs> and it's like oh no dude <laughs> what just yeah. like <laughs> You yeah, know, that would yeah. be that would be wild. That'd be a glasses crazy. or no glasses. Oh, he's got the glasses. Yeah, on. there's no way. <laughs> Come on, he's got glasses. On. All right, next next message. Hey, love the podcast. First things first. Secondly, I've listened to every episode, and I just haven't had any advice on anything until now. Um, so this. Uh, complicated situation uh -oh. i'm gonna try to keep it short for you guys <laughs> so six years ago i met my wife um she actually asked me out on a date but she had a kid oh um, no it was like under one but it was a she's a smoke show way out of my league and at the time i was like i got nothing to lose um things worked fantastically obviously she's my wife now um, Spoiler. She's there for me since then, like, hey, do you want a kid or whatever? So I'm like, whatever. a good stepdad or whatever. And never really, like, I never wanted kids anyway. But I'm super happy that I have this stepkid that I, like, treat like it's my own kid. That's great. Um, so we had that conversation. We decided we're not going to have any more kids. I feel like she's and right it's been fine. You're, 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 you're assuming? That. And like two years ago, oh, no. she introduced me to her friend, and I'm <gasps> he knocked like up her a pretty friend. timid guy. Like she had to ask me out on our first date for Christ's sakes. So like it was cool that me and her friend hit it off so well. Uh -oh. And I think my wife's seen that. Yeah. And this might have been her plan from the start. What? But she brought it up to me afterwards. Like, hey, would you be interested in bringing this other girl into our relationship? Oh shit. And um. Her friend is also a smoke show. Like, they, I got a type. They're both, like, think suicide girls, but big old titties is the <laughs> fucking best. Um, I'm not rich. I look I like a fucking make, I this up. or whatever. But I got these two smoking hot chicks I've been in a relationship with for, like, you know, the last two years. And I've been married to one of them for, like, three years now. So. Everything's been going great. Uh, this morning, oh, no. the one that's not my wife, <laughs> if, actually, she told me that she wants a kid. Uh oh. Um, I told her I would get back to it. <laughs> and I I'll get back um, to you. Um, and then you like... <laughs> like, kind of scares the shit out of me because I don't really want another kid. Um, but he doesn't want to get rid of those titties. I have is awesome. And maybe having this other kid might mess shit up. Or telling her, no, I don't want another kid might also mess shit up. Um, or bringing it up to my wife. She might feel some type of way about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Either way, it's, it's... I'm going to have a lot of long ass conversations. <laughs> about this. He's like so, the fun's but over. To get you guys' advice first. Um, appreciate it. You guys are hilarious. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. Well, one, uh, thank you for living the American dream, dude. Right? <laughs> That's pretty sick. Uh, and yeah, I would say that. Um, I mean, that's just a wild ass fucking situation to be in all around you met a lady with a kid and then she brings in a third to your relationship which you're both dating both of them or you're dating one married to another which that means they both know about each other i would figure that the woman who wanted the kid who isn't your wife would have to have a conversation with your wife yeah you know like i think that would be the normal 
course of action. You can't just be like, ah, I'm never going to talk about this ever again. Also, you know, I'm no, I'm no doctor. Um, but you gotta be, you can't be dumping in these chicks. You can't be dumping in them. Oh, oh, you mean like he uses protection? No, I'm, I'm just saying you can't dump in them. <laughs> I didn't say, <laughs> I didn't say use protection. <laughs> What am I, gay? Get out of here. No. No, he'd be dumping on their big old titties. Yeah, you got to dump. Yeah. You got to dump where the trucks go. I do like how he was just like, it's the it's the end of the road, basically. I know. He, he, knows does, it. he definitely gave <laughs> a fucking Lou Gehrig, I consider myself the luckiest <laughs> man on the face of the earth. And he's like, oh, I don't want this to end, He's like, man. you know, the fun's over. <laughs> yes. I've come as long as I can go. I've accomplished more in these two years than most people. Just coming all over the place. Uh, I just want to thank everyone. He, <laughs> Mom, you've been an inspiration. I like see him kissing like the foreheads of each of the tits. Though. Yeah, He's like, goodbye. You I have to, you. you know? Yeah. I hope the whole time he was thinking about this, uh, Time of Your Life by Green Day is playing. <laughs> he makes like a compilation. Yeah, it's, just, it's just like pictures flying in on the screen and star wipe. Da, 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 it's like, da, 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 da. What was the greatest day of your, uh, what was the best time of your life, dude? Uh, I want to say 2024. <laughs> yeah, right? Why? I had a wife and a girlfriend, and they both knew about each other. And Think suicide girl with big old tits. <laughs> I knew exactly who we were talking oh, about, I know. I, yeah, yeah I, I mean, come on. Yeah. But that's, you know what's great about that story? <laughs> Is eventually, those are the guys that will be in old age homes. Yeah. And then there are going to be like people going in there like, tell me about your life. I'll tell you something. <laughs> it's like there's knowing that event. But then again, that is also the, the craziest thing. Like, you know, my mom worked at a geriatric home uh -huh. and every now and again, I would not have long conversations, but like you'd talk to some of the old people there and they would tell you about like things they did as a kid or like things they were interested in. Uh -huh. And now, you know, there's at one point in time in the future. Uh -huh. There is going to be a woman in a nursing home uh -huh. who is going to be like, when I I had the most amount of fans on my page oh, when yeah, I right. squatted on a, on a dildo. <laughs> and then when I would squirt, I would put it in a small sippy cup and I'd dump it on my face and I made so much money that year. She'd be pretty hot. And I don't know if she would be. She'd be hot. I feel like you the only think fans... only fans grandma, only grands is going to be... I feel like she'll probably make much. She probably would have an only grands. I bet that's gonna be a thing. I mean, it's already. I bet there is. Is there is. If there's something, it is there. Yeah. You know, people uh, like. Well, yeah. Well, you said fifty year old puss is gross. But I, I didn't say it was gross. I said I've seen it, and it's not always for me. You know, it's for someone. What I'm saying is, some I've eaten quiche. It wasn't always for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Sometimes you get quiche and you're like, whoa, I didn't think it could be this good. And quiche like, is really good. Sometimes there's other quiche that I've had and I'm like, whoa. Not good. Not that great. Okay. Who made this quiche? I don't want it. I don't want this quiche. Get it away from me. I'm, it's overcooked. So that was a random food choice. I'm just saying quiche is the only thing. Like, I was like I, thinking about I was like, why do you pick quiche? Why quiche? did I pick quiche? Because it just seems like something an old lady would make. I made quiche with my pussy. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, I didn't know if I wanted that. Mix, mix the eggs with my lips. But I think, uh, you know, you have to have a conversation with your wife and girlfriend. I think you all need to sit down. Yeah. Have a big old powwow about what can be done. Yeah. Because, and really when it comes, I know you're like, I'm going to lose it all. Like, you still have a wife. <laughs> You still have a wife and and step stepchild that love you. Yes, you still have that. But if you're only being like, I'm gonna lose this other one. I know. Like, look, man, <laughs> He's I'm not, very distressed about I'm it. I'm not telling you don't be greedy, but don't be greedy. You had it for a couple years. Yeah, take the win. Yeah. You know, if this chick wants a a, a baby, or you know, you're running by your wife and she's like, yo. Yeah, but then he has a baby. Yeah, I, but then maybe it would be the best thing. People say having kids is the best thing that'll happen to you. I yeah. <laughs> Some people love having kids. I know. I know. We yeah. all saw the Duggars. We all knew. <laughs> that lady loved getting busted in. The Duggar. Oh, wait, you know what I was thinking of? Did you ever watch Sister Wives? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, I didn't watch it, but I knew of it. 
<laughs> and then I would search it on porn sites <laughs> and watch a version of it. Nice. Um, no, but I know what that is. And I can't imagine <clears throat> having multiple wives. He had multiple wives and like multiple kids and shit too with each of the different wives. Yeah. And they were all like a fucking family. That's and shit. A wild, a wild but thing. But I'm saying that guy did it. You could do it. I mean, if they did it. <laughs> <laughs> and they did it, and they had their own show that had a lot of drama and weird mm-hmm. shit going on. You could easily do it. I think, you know, it's, it's, yeah, you could easily have uh, multiple wives. Yeah. You know, Dracula did it. <laughs> Muhammad. Muhammad did it. <laughs> you know, you got those two are big players. Top two. Yeah, I mean, when I think multiple wives, <laughs> I think Muhammad and Dracula. I'm just saying. They're in the same category. They're basically. pretty much in the same They category. really are. If I honestly put a picture of Muhammad up and a picture of Dracula, I can't tell them apart. <laughs> They're brothers. They're pretty much on the same wavelength. Done. I think that would be great if there was... A movie. <laughs> oh my God, like twins, except instead of Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's Dracula. Muhammad and Dracula? <laughs> But which one's which one's which the, is the one that shows up and Danny is like, I'm your brother? Which one's Danny DeVito out of the two? We don't want to insult anybody here. Uh, so we're leaving you to decide oof. which one's Submit your votes. Out of Muhammad or Dracula. Which, which one? one is the Danny DeVito of the two? I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll find out. We'll yeah. I was gonna say which one's the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the two? Did you watch a documentary? Well, if you figure out which one's the Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> of the two, you know which one's the Danny DeVito. We can't just she, say which one's which. She's retarded sometimes. So. You know, she's... She is. Yeah. Anyway, what? About Schwarzenegger and what, the... Oh, uh, did you watch his documentary? I watched part of it. I liked it. <laughs> ah, I actually, I had something to say, but then I forgot. And then now we're here. And so. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. Did you watch the movie? I like it. And then now I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. And now I feel (laughs) too embarrassed. Oh my God, did you watch that movie? (laughs) Which movie? You know, the the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm going to fucking kill you. Okay. Okay. I like it. I don't remember now what I was going to say. I had a point and it's, that was buried. I liked it. <laughs> oh my god. Um No, I'm not gonna say it. No. All right, no. What? No, no I what? can't. No, I go, can't. go. It's too dumb. It's not. I'm dumber than what I didn't I forgot Japan was an island. <laughs> and I knew it was an island. I just forgot. No, I'm just um just retarded, that's all. We can move on. Well, we this is we're we're wrapping it up. This is the end of the. You might as well get it out now. No, it's okay. <laughs> Such a chick thing to do. I don't want to talk about it. I want. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. So, a guy who just called. <laughs> Imagine having the conversation. I don't want to talk about. It. I don't know if you want to. Uh, this has been the end podcast with Ryan Chainer. Ayesha, thank you so much for being on the show. We're going to switch it over to the Patreon. Uh, Make sure you call the hotline, 833-443-5300. We will address any comment, question, concern, or possible polygamous problem (laughs) you have. Also, uh, if you're listening, uh, wait, will that get us in trouble? If we ask people to draw who would be the Danny DeVito? (laughs) Oh, yeah, then fine. Uh, guys, if you can, use AI to create who would be the Danny DeVito in between Muhammad and Dracula <laughs> in an upcoming movie about how they're basically the same person. All right, later. <laughs>